The biggest event in the cycling world kicks off tomorrow when riders start the Tour de France. This is a 3,000 kilometer race. Uh, it's the 99th year for the Tour de France. And Andre Chuck is the senior editor at Canadian Cycling Magazine, joins us now to take a look at this year's competition. Andre, for, for people who are not cycling fans, tell us a bit about the Tour de France, how big a deal it is, how it works. Uh, good morning, Dan. Yeah, in, uh, Tour de France is the uh, biggest uh, event in cycling. It's the most prestigious uh, race uh, of the calendar. Uh, the winners of these events go down in cycling history, uh, you know, as one of the top best riders uh, of their generation. It's, it's, uh, it's really as big as it gets in cycling. Yeah. Now, there's a Canadian. A lot of people are talking about big winner already this year in Italy. That's right. Yep. Uh, Victoria's rider Hegel, uh, who has a who had a terrific, terrific year, really a career-making year by winning the Giro d'Italia, which is uh, the Italian version of the Tour. Um, it's uh, you know the, the Giro d'Italia is second only to the Tour de France in terms of prestige and the quality of the field. So it's really a, a, a fantastic honor that uh, rider has won it and is the first Canadian to win it. And it's certainly put him on the map as a contender for any uh, Grand Tour stage races, including the Tour de France, that he goes into. When uh, casual sports fans take a look at, at this major event, uh, they see Lance Armstrong winning year after year. They hear about Ryder Hage Dahl. And yet we are told cycling is a very big team sport. These guys are just the pointed end of the stick. Absolutely. Uh, well, that's 100% correct. Uh, you, know, you know, I mean, uh, riders like, like Armstrong and, and, and Hegedal are, are fantastic and amazing athletes, but they certainly can't go it alone. Uh, they have, uh, they really rely on the support of their teammates, in, especially in these uh, three-week long tours, and, you know, their teammates will, uh, will ride in front of them for a good portion of the race to help uh, block the wind, so it makes it easier uh, or, or a slightly lower energy cost for them to ride. Uh, you know, they will go back to the team car and, and bring them uh, bottles uh, and food uh, to pick up uh, for the team leader, like Ryder. Um, they'll even, uh, if there's a mechanical or crash, they'll give up their bikes uh, to, get to uh, Ryder uh, so that he can continue on and not lose uh, any time or too much time. So mm -hmm. it's very, very important to have a strong team behind, behind you if you're making a bid for the win. So how good a shot does he have at this, and who are the other top contenders? So, uh, you know, Ryder is, is, is definitely a great rider, and he's, uh, as he's already had a great year. And, and that may be one of the, the, the challenges. Uh, but the, the Giro is every bit as grueling as the Tour de France, and uh, it's very difficult for him to uh, bounce back after just the two months uh, break between uh, and, and be in top form. Uh, in fact, the Giro Tour double is so difficult. It's only been done a handful of times mm -hmm. in, in the last century, and the last time was 1998. Uh, uh, so, or sorry, 19, yeah, 1998. So, um, you know, that's the major challenge for him is that his rivals will be arriving at the race, uh, preparing specifically for this race, and uh, they'll be fresher. So, uh, you know, that will be the challenge. Um, and, and, but, you know, certainly if not this year, uh, Ryder can certainly be a, a winner for, for the future. And he's definitely a very solid bet for uh, at least top 10, if not top 5. Oh, yeah. um, leading the pack uh, of contenders would have to be last year's winner, Cadell Evans of Australia. Uh, you know, being the defending champion, he certainly he has a strong team behind him. And then uh, the other uh, rider leading the pack would be, uh, would be Great Britain's uh, Bradley Wiggins, uh, riding for Team Sky. He's had a stellar uh, preseason, uh, winning uh, three big week-long stage races in the spring, uh, looking very, very commanding, very solid, every inch the, the tour uh, leader and uh, contender. Now, Andre, I've heard this race is so grueling that over the last few days, the cyclists cannot consume. They physically cannot consume enough calories to make up for what their body's using up. That's right. Uh, you know, they're they out there day after day riding, you know, 150 upwards of 200 kilometers per day, uh, you know, for uh, 20 days over three weeks. It's, it's a very, very demanding uh, physical uh, test. 
uh, that uh, only you know the very best can even uh, think about attempting. You know, they, these guys will consume upwards of you know six thousand calories a day, and 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 that's not even making up all the all the calories they're burning. So for sure, they by the end uh, of the of the three weeks, you'll see these guys. They they will have uh, they'll have started. Uh, uh, metabolizing their own muscles they'll be they'll they'll be even uh, down weight compared to uh, compared to when they start the race mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a real you know challenge it's a in tough the, race <laughs> it's toughest in the world many argue yeah Andre Chuck is senior editor at Canadian cycling magazine Andre thanks very much for this thank you very much for having me following the uh, US